Welcome to Build Edge. I'm Keymark Product Manager Aaron Dietzen and I want to walk you through inputting and editing windows in Build Edge Plan 3.0. Gonna hop into SketchUp here. I got some walls and floor, then another set of walls drawn. I'm gonna use this to input some windows. So over here in the Build Edge UI, I have the doors and window mode active. Uh, below that, I have a sub toolbar set here. I have the ability to add windows, in this case windows, same command for doors, select and edit a window, select to move a window, and then a delete icon. In here I'm going to choose my type, I'm going to put in a window this time. My width and height, this is the size of the opening. Of course I'm showing imperial units right here based on your presets in SketchUp, you can set that to metric instead. The top of the window height, so this is from the bottom of the wall that the window is placed into the top of the opening, how tall is that? And then I have an option here for dividers and trim width. I'm going to draw a window and then we'll see exactly what that means. When I click on a wall to place a window, I get a little dotted outline. Now first thing I see is that there's a blue dotted outline. This means that the window, the trim, and uh, the rest of it's going to fall into the wall away from me. If I hit the down arrow on my keyboard, it turns solid. This means the face of the window is going to face out towards me as I place the window. This is what I actually want to do in the case of a window that I'm placing from the outside of the building. Were I standing on the inside placing it from there, I'd want to put it in with a dotted line. But in this case, I want to put it in with a solid line. Again, hit the up or down arrow to toggle that. Second thing I can modify is where I'm placing from. Right now as I move my mouse, I can see that I have a dimension line running from the left side of the wall to the center of the opening. If I hit the left or right arrow key, I can actually toggle through different placement points. One tap on the right arrow key places from the center of the opening to the right side of the wall. Tap the right arrow key again and I'm placing from the right side of the window to the right side of the wall. Third time on the right arrow key, left side of the wall to the left side of the opening. Fourth toggle takes me back to the initial placement which was left side to center. So I can spin through those at any point. This is important because that point that I'm placing from allows me to snap. So if I want to put this window directly in the middle of this wall, I can move my mouse down until it finds the midpoint snap point. That's going to place the middle of the window there at that middle point. To place the window, I just click the left mouse button. And there we go. There is the window I just placed. So I can see in here, here's my uh, three feet wide, four feet tall, six foot eight from the bottom of the wall to the top of the window. Uh, it does have a three inch trim all the way around and I put in a single horizontal and a single uh, vertical divider. If I want to make a change to this window, I can hit select, click on the window, and I can make changes. So if, let's say I want to actually make this a five foot wide uh, with two vertical dividers. I make those changes, hit apply, and it's updated. Something important to note there is that it's actually updating its placement along the middle of the window. So as it got wider there, it grew both directions from the middle. That was because of my placement point. I placed that opening from this left side to the center of the window. Um, if I wanted to delete a window, I can pick on it, hit the trash can icon, it goes away, it disappears. I'm going to put a couple more windows in here. Um, I'm going to put one in and I'm going to toggle this so that I'm placing it from the end of the wall to the right edge of the window. Now I see this little dimension line here. Um, just like drawing with SketchUp, I kind of get some odd snap points, some odd dimensions there. If I want to force a specific location, say I want a three foot measurement here, I can just type in three foot and see down the lower right corner it changes to display three foot, hit enter, and now the edge of this opening is three foot from the edge of the wall. That's important because if I come in here and make a change like moving this wall, that window is going to snap to that end. Likewise, if I come in here and I'll place another window, and I'll do the same thing here, I'll actually pay, place it from the end. Again, if I move this wall, both of these windows move along with it. Now it's important to know because if I do something like this, say I bring this down so far that that other window would have been right here, it does fall off. I can control Z to get that back. Um, if I want to move a window, so I come in here, hit move, click on a window, just like I was originally placing it. 
that point I can toggle my placement point. I can actually flip it in or out of the house. Uh, I can type in a new dimension. I can make any changes I want to this window while I'm placing it. Uh, another note about snap points, if I come in to place this window again up here at the top, I can align that pretty easily with the windows below just by using the midpoint of the trim. So that's the basic of inputting and editing windows inside of Build Edge Plan 3.0. For more information, feel free to contact us at buildedge@keymark.com or visit us online at www.buildedge. Thank you.